So how do you change opacity in Photoshop? Here's a simple example. I've got a photo as my bottom most layer and an ellipse or a shape as a layer on top of that. So we see this ellipse out here. I can move it around with the move tool. To change the opacity of any layer in Photoshop, all you have to do is have that layer selected, go up to opacity. And from here you can set a percentage or click the drop down and drag to change the percentage opacity of this layer. Now you can also do this with groups or any other layer here in Photoshop. The other thing that you can do to affect how see-through an object is, is not only by changing the opacity, but also by changing the blend mode. Now there's lots of different modes here, and each of these different sections affect different things. So for instance, multiply would knock out the white of an image, whereas these lighten and linear dodge would knock out the dark of the image. And then each one of these tells the layer to have its colors affect the layers underneath it in a different way. So you could go through here and it's really nice in the latest version of Photoshop because it actually previews the changes that you're making as you scroll down through these different modes. So I could pick something like soft light and the interesting part of this as opposed to opacity, which we could then use opacity to bring down that effect a little bit. With the blend mode, it affects all the layers underneath in a different way. So depending on the colors that's underneath it, whether it's a dark color or a light color or something like skin tone or eye color, it'll change what's underneath in different ways. So you can create some cool effects using blending modes and opacity here in Photoshop. Now, if you know anything about layer styles, so if I double click on this layer to the right of the name, it's gonna pop open the layer style dialog box. Inside the layer styles, under blending options, we still have the blending modes right here that we can change. We also have opacity right here as well. So you can adjust the opacity and the blending mode within your layer style dialog box, as well as out here in the layers panel. Now, while we've been doing this, you might've noticed something else, the word fill right here. And if you mess with fill, you might think it does the exact same thing. And while by some regard it does, what fill is doing is adjusting the transparency of what is filling the layer and not necessarily the effects of it, etc. So let me show you the difference between fill and opacity. If inside of layer styles, we were to add a drop shadow effect to this layer, right? So now we have a drop shadow on this ellipse. I'm gonna turn off any blending mode just like this. So we just have the ellipse with a drop shadow. If we turn down opacity, both the ellipse and the drop shadow opacity turns down. So it gets more and more transparent as a whole element. If we were to turn down the fill, notice the difference here. The fill of the layer is becoming more transparent. But what about the drop shadow? The drop shadow is actually still there. So the difference between fill and opacity, it kind of gives you control over the different transparencies within a single layer. So if you have effects on that layer, you can turn down the transparency of the layer itself without actually removing the transparency of the effect. So an interesting thing that I like to do here is if we had some text out here, I'm gonna scale that up a little bit, but I wanted this text to actually be an outline. Let's go ahead and hide this ellipse. So I've got a text layer out here. Well, pretty simple. I could add a stroke to that text, just like that. We could change that stroke color to a similar yellow and hit okay. So there's a stroke on this text now, but I still have the color of the text. I want this to be outlined text, so I don't need the color. Well, I can't just turn down the opacity because it turns down both the stroke and the fill and any other effect, just everything turns down. But if I turn down the fill, now the actual text color goes away, but my stroke stays. So any font that I use, and the cool thing is this is still editable, so I can just type in the word text or anything like that there. The stroke stays, but I turn down the fill. And that I can also do here in the layer styles. You'll notice here in advanced blending, the fill opacity is turning down. You can see this represented in the preview window right here too. What we're turning down is the inside portion of our object. So if you were curious and you'd ever turned down fill and you were just on an image or something and it seemed to just be transparency and you didn't know the difference, hopefully I explained a little bit better what the difference between those two are. That's how to change opacity here in Photoshop.